how to install the Pixel ROM or the Pixel 5 ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Pixel ROM or the Pixel 5 ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then you need to have TWRP version 3.5 installed on your device. And the link for that recovery can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to change the data and cache partition to F2FS, which is going to wipe out your data and cache partitions, which means you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. And no, there is no way of running this ROM on your POCO F1 without having to format the data and cache partitions to F2FS. Now a downside of using the TWRP recovery method is that you will not be able to apply the incremental updates. You will have to flash the full ROM zip file. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. And here it is, we have the POCO F1, which is running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. The battery is greater than 50%, so do make sure your battery is above 50%. All the files which we need are linked in the description of the video. And you need the Pixel ROM full zip file. This has your system, vendor, kernel, and the firmware. Then you need AOSP recovery remover, and you also need metadata file as well next thing you need to do is we'll go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back scroll down go into me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once those of you who are on custom roms based off aosp you will not have the option of removing your me account why are we removing all these accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is boot into twrp so for that the first thing you need to do is turn off your device and once you have turned your device off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Now once you booted into TWRP, as I mentioned earlier in the video, make sure you are running TWRP 3.5 for the POCO F1. Link can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, go into wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache, system, vendor and data, and then swipe to wipe. Once that is done, tap on the home button, go into install. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have transferred all the files. In case you transferred the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In case you transferred the files manually, you would know where they are. In my case, they are in the download folder. First file we need to select is the Beryllium OTA and this is the file for the Pixel ROM. Then add more zips and select AOSP recovery remover, add more zips and the metadata file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now once all the files have flashed successfully, we need to make sure there were no errors. So here it is, we are flashing the file for the pixel ROM, system image patched, vendor patched, firmware images installed, script succeeded, result was one. Here it is, AOSP recovery remover, everything fine done and then it is flashing the metadata file and no issues here as well next up tap on the home button next thing we need to do is change the data and cache partitions to f2fs and yes this is a mandatory step and changing the file system of data and cache partition will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things we'll go into wipe advanced wipe select the data partition and say repair or change file system here we are going to say change file system and select f2 fs 
let us select it and then swipe to change once that is done tap on the home button wipe advanced wipe cache partition select it repair or change file system change file system f2fs swipe to change everything done tap on the home button go into reboot and then select system and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into the pixel rom and the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick next thing we will do is we will go into settings and if the colors seem washed out let me try to fix that here it is some issues with the exposure on my recording equipment so about phone says pixel 5 we will tap on that and now if i tap on the android version bam here it is android version is 11 security patch is from march 2021 and the kernel they are using is disrupt kernel with respect to the kernel i recommend that you stay on the kernel which came out of the box and those of you who still want to change your kernel your kernel needs to have specific requirements those requirements can be found in the pinned comment on this video and before you ask me how do you find out well you need to look at those commits check the source of your kernel and see if the kernel is compatible with this rom or not next thing we can check is whether twrp recovery is still there or not so let me turn the device off and then press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till i see the recovery logo and there it is you can see that we still have twrp if you see this message swipe to allow modifications and we can now reboot back to system but there it is we have successfully installed the pixel 5 rom based on android 11 on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you